Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would film my empties. Um, I've got quite a few here. Um, I don't think I'm running on month by month empties anymore so I don't think I can say that this is my October empties because there's definitely some things in here that I've finished in the last few days. So I think all I'm going to do, I'll maybe just start numbering my, my videos, I'm not sure. But but anyway, it doesn't matter because I've got a bunch of stuff that needs to go through. <laughs> and um, it is a welcome distraction from trying to sort this blooming chaos out around me. I'm still sorting out my craft stuff, but I am getting there. It's starting to look a bit more like a room. So I hope you're all okay. I hope you're having a good weekend. It is Sunday the 14th of November. I'm just getting comfy. I've got, I love this chair. This was my husband's chair when he was working from home. And it's so much nicer than what my one was upstairs. So I've definitely claimed this. It's great. Um, so yeah, I've literally just flung on a little bit of makeup because I looked slightly rough. <laughs> I looked a bit dodgy. So I thought, right, just pop on the bit. And then, yeah, come on, say hi and go through these. So I haven't broken them into categories or anything, but I'll try and um, go through in some kind of order. But I'm just going to pick them out. So I've got a few biggish items in here. And then, um, yeah, a bit of a mishmash. And I just want to get them into the recycling, into the bin and away. So first things first. Um, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, please do. If you like this type of video, um, yeah, click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy empties so that I know it helps me know what sort of content to film. And I'm trying to get a really nice balance now because obviously I'm doing some crafty stuff as well. And yeah, I don't have like loads and loads of crafting videos. I'll just all beauty videos. I'm trying to mix them up and so obviously I've just uploaded the crafting video earlier. So I thought, right, we need to get something to keep all you beauty people interested in my channel. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I hope you have a good Sunday. Let's crack on. So the first thing, actually, I've got a couple of different bubble baths from Radox. I prefer the Radox ones. The Imperial leather ones make my skin itch um, and make it feel really, really dry. So yeah, I always get a Radox bubble bath if I'm in picking anything up. This one was a mineral therapy. Feel heavenly, blended with minerals, herbs, coconut scent and milk. Bath soak, 500 mils. I can't actually remember what this was like. Oh gosh, he's really coconutty actually. I don't remember it being that coconutty in the bath. Maybe it was. Um, but anyway, I just think all of the Radox bubble baths are lovely. You get really good bubble volume for like not that much to go in the bath. And they're very, very affordable, very cheap. And I will continue to repurchase. I need to maybe try a few of the other fragrances and types of them though. I might start going along that way. I have got the Sleep Aromatherapy one here as well, which is Chamomile and White Valerian Scent Bath Soak. It is really nice. I'm not sure if it makes me sleep any better. I'm quite a poor sleeper. Oh, but it is oh, it's so nice. It's lovely. Um, alongside my bubble bath, I'm a person that I'll have bubble bath, but I also put in, and this is like an old favourite, I'm sure you know what it is. It is my Redox bath salts. I can't help it. I'll put bath salts in and bubble bath together. Um, I don't know why I do it. I just love it. And it's the Mineral Redox Therapy Muscle Soak, our best-selling herbal bath salts with them. Um, soothing extracts of thyme. There is meant to be a pink one. I have never seen the other Radox um, bath salts anywhere. So if you've seen them, let me know where I can get them from. Because I think there's like a pinky purpley box as well, but honestly, I've never ever seen it. So those are those, always in here. Um, I just love them. Hey, we've got, these were from Bubble Tea, Rainbow Tea Macaron Bath Fizzers. Um, so there's like a quite a few in here. Maybe I don't know how many was there. Maybe six or something. And it was a confetio edition. Um, oh, five. There were five little bath fizzes in. So a couple of things. Number one, I love bath salts. I am not a bath bomb bath fizzer fan. I just I don't get it. I just. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not that bothered but these were really annoying because they were individually wrapped in plastic so you actually had to take the plastic seal off to use them and it looked like um they literally looked like little macarons so it had like a little cream bit in the middle with then with the dome bits top and bottom so i wondered if it was like maybe the um you know how you can get like the the wash bags that you can put in the machine that dissolve in water so i thought i wonder if the plastic's like that try to run that under the tap no, it wasn't. So it was actually wrapped in proper plastic. So you've got to get the scissors out to cut the plastic off. It was a real faff. 
and then they sort of fall apart and I don't know I just I just wasn't a fan so they look nice but I don't know if they did anything at all and um I just prefer my bath salts <laughs> as you can tell um another bath thing I had some shower gel from original source the zesty lemon and tea tree there's literally a tiny bit there not enough to come out I've tried to get it all out um it's just yeah there's not enough for another use really lovely it smells like lemon drops oh and it just honestly was so so nice i enjoyed it again these are really cheap really nice um so yeah definitely would purchase again again they do different fragrances and things so uh, i think they've got like a mint one which is really nice what else have i got in here any more bath things i have got not that I can see. Um, sticking on the washing side, though, I have got this, which was a Couture Somatology Yoga Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash. Um, lavender oil. There we go. I got this in a FabFit Fun box, I think. And I'm sure it was meant to be about $40 because I remember being really, really shocked that anyone would spend that on hand cream. It's taken a while to use. I just had it in my bathroom and used it as like my liquid soap. Um, so I tend to go back in. When I've done my makeup, I'll go back and wash my hands just in case I've got like this like foundation and things like that on my hands. So that's what I kind of tended to use it. Um, it was nice. It was not $40 nice. And to be honest, I'm quite happy using like a one pound <laughs> soap. It, you know, I'm not as bothered but um no it was really really lovely it looks a bit disgusting sorry about the state of the packaging it was in the bathroom it is a soap but yeah really nice but not worth the money i will not repurchase um next one is just a bit of a declutter actually and i just saw it sat in the back of my cupboard in the bathroom and i've had this for so i'm sure i've had this like for years like i don't know how i've still got it uh, literally i think it must have been years and years and years and it was a palmer's cocoa butter Microfine exfoliating facial scrub. Um, I've had that forever. I bet you it's probably about <laughs> 10 years out of date. Um, is there a date on it? I'd be really curious if there is. Oh, I don't think so. But yeah, I've had it donkeys. And I know that some people will probably say you could use it as a foot scrub or this or that. But literally, I've had it for years. Um, and it's been open for years. And it's, no, I think it's split. It looks a bit. Uh, a bit disgusting oh and it smells like paint so yeah that one has gone from what i can remember i don't think i was a fan this is nearly full and i love a facial scrub so i couldn't have been a fan or it's maybe before the days when i did like a lot of facial scrubbing i'm not sure but i can't, oh, I can't remember i won't buy it because i've got i won't buy it again just purely because i have got so many facial scrubs that i need to get through in my collection already what have we got here? Next thing, oh, Philip Kinsley Elasticizer. What was this fragrance? Just trying to see. Here we go. Here, the one that's in the tube. They come in sachets now. So this is something vanilla and orange blossom. Oh, I bet this was nice. Let me see if I can sniff it. Oh, a bit. there's a bit left. Oh, I don't think it's properly finished. Do you know what? I'm going to put that back. A little bit's just come out and I've pressed it. So I may be able to like put this with a half tube of another one. Oh, I'm filthy. So um, I'm actually not going to put that in my empties. Hmm. I'm going to leave that standing. And I'm going to get some more. I'm going to cut the tube open and scoop it out. Right then. Next thing is um, one of these little um, soapy sponge things, which is, it was a pearl one. Let me try and think of the name. We've just had one in, we had an aloe vera one in our birch box. Who makes them? Oh my God. Oh, come on guys, help me out. Um, oh my gosh, who makes them? I'm going to have to write it on the screen or I'll remember later on, hopefully. These are so, so nice. So this is what they look like when all the soap has been used up. So it is basically a sponge, which is also like, full of soap it's a really really clever invention you just take it into the shower wet it and then you just wash and it's just look. daily concepts daily concepts is who it's by i think um but yeah and they wet and you, so it's a soap and a sponge all in one and then eventually the soap 
gets used up and you're just left with a little sponge and this was the pearl one absolutely beautiful um i did originally get one of these in one of my beauty boxes a couple of years ago and then i got them as an add-on at the start of the year on my fab fit fund because i saw them and they were a really good price so yeah i just added them in and they're fab i really really like them it'd be a good thing to take away if you're going on holiday i think just because then you don't need to take your shower gel and things you can just use that and it'd be great no liquid involved so if you take a hand luggage it won't count in your allowance Another bath product here, I've had this for ages and I made a real conscious effort just to get it used up and it is the Ritual of Ayurveda and the, no, 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 can't see. the Nurturing Shower Oil. It is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance this one. So this is really nice. So you put it on, it's an oil, but you, as you rub it in and it gets wet, it kind of almost goes like a milk um, and it's just beautiful. The, the scent... It's one of my favourite, favourite fragrances from Rituals. Such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So yeah, really, really gorgeous. Um, cleanser, I thought, right, let's get another thing out of my collection. So I just got a little sachet that's been sat there for ages. It was an Ur Urban Vida Turmeric and Botanics Daily Radiance Facial Wash. Um, five mils, just enough really for one or two uses. It was fine. It was a gel cleanser. It was nothing amazing, but it's hard to tell just using it for one or two times. I don't think I'm a massive fan of this brand though. I'm sure I've had a couple of things before and I, and I don't know either if my skin was a bit irritated or just wasn't wowed by them. But to be, be honest, this was fine. I used it in the morning as my morning cleanse and yeah, it was okay. Trying to see if I've got any other washy things. Ah, here we go. So this, making sure it's empty now. I'm a bit like, ooh, it is empty. It is a gommage. So it's a body scrub from Aqua Hero. And then there we are. I think it was blue. And really little fibre, um, little particles. And yeah, it was all right. How scrubby was it? It's a bit left. There's a tiny bit just in the lid. So, oh my goodness, I've just dropped the lid. Um, I'm sinking into my chair, sorry. I need to sit up. Oh my gosh, I'll, I'll lower my tripod actually. So you can see that it's just like a little bit of a blue scrub. Very scrubby. I can't remember what it smelled like. I think it was really nice. I do think it was nice. Um, but yeah, that's gone. And it was a bit more like a, a sugary type scrub, um, which I really enjoy. And um, so yeah, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to buy... I won't buy it because I just get loads in my collection. But I do prefer sugar scrubs. Um, I really, really enjoy sugar scrub. And I like the ones that have got um, like an oily bit as well. So when you come out, it leaves a bit of a residue on your skin. So I find it just really softens your skin, especially like your legs, your thighs, around your knees, um, any of those dry areas that you can maybe get. They're meant to be really easy to make. I wonder if maybe one day I might do a video about making your own scrubs. That'd be quite cool. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'll need to research it. But um, how hard can it be? It can't be that difficult, can it? Um, next thing we've got, and I just actually used this yesterday. It was a Coco and Eve Like a Virgin. It is a hair mask. Um, so nice. It is a super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask. To be fair, half of this tube would have probably done my hair, but my hair was honestly feeling so dry and neglected. And I've just been so bad these last few months at looking after myself properly and doing proper self-care so i literally just whacked the whole lot on i was in the bath yesterday afternoon um washed my hair stuck on the mask and then um just bobbed i just put it up in like in a bun and then popped on one of like the microfiber um hair turban towel things and i literally left my hair in it for about over an hour <laughs> and then i rinsed it just over the bath of the shower head um later on and it felt really nice about out last night and it's a bit flat today but it feels so much better it feels really healthy very soft and silky so i'm really pleased i did it did a very good job i've got a lot of hair masks i need to do um a hair mask series i think just because i've got a lot of different ones to try i've got quite a few that have been gifted to me as well so i really do need to make some videos for those but yeah Coco and Eve, I really like it. I think they're a really great brand and um, I've used it before as well. Yeah, I like it. I would buy it again. I would, it's definitely one I would use because I think if one works, but I've got so many masks. But I do wonder if you just put like your own conditioner on 
and just left your own conditioner for like an hour and then rinsed it out, would it probably do the same thing? Probably would, you know, if you put like extra on and just left it, I'm sure it'd have a really good effect as well. So, you know, you don't have to go spending your money on all these other things. Use what you've got, you know, and yeah. Um, what have we got here? A Harvey Mineral Body Lotion. This is so nice. I really liked it. It was the water one and then um, that's it there. Absolutely gorgeous. It wasn't thick and heavy. It was really like light, light and the fragrance was very delicate. Um, I just, I really, really enjoyed using it. I really did. So very nice. I've got a few Ahava products. I think I've got a, um, I've got a cleanser definitely that I'm using. And then um, I think I've got something else as well. Is it maybe a toner or, oh, I'm not sure, but I've had a hand cream as well. Um, everything I've tried from the brand has been very good. So I think they are maybe a little bit more expensive from the recollection, I'm, if I think right. So, but yeah, I can't speak properly today at all. I'm not sure. <sighs> oh, next is a Nux and it was a body lotion, the beautifying scented body lotion. It's so nice. I just, the fragrance lingers. It has a very distinctive fragrance, which is gorgeous. It is really, really lovely. And then it matches the body oils and everything. So if you've got like the dry body oil, use that. It just stays with you all day long. And it just, yeah, I think it's just quite a feminine fragrance, but not floral. It's just, I don't know, it's just nooks. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely beautiful. It is a really nice brand. Next thing I've got is a hand cream. And this was a Body Shop Moringa hand cream. Um, I got this when I was working in the urgent treatment center and um the body shop one of the body shop consultants brought a lot of products in for all the nursing staff which was just lovely and um yeah so this is one of the things i got and i really enjoyed using it It was lovely i quite like these little metal ones because i feel like i can squeeze them all out properly it, it absorbed nicely it smelled nice um yeah i wash my hands an awful lot in the day so it's difficult to say what it would be like just like for like a regular person that's not having to wash their hands like 50 times a day but um i really liked it and then um, yeah i felt like my hands were hydrated after using it and then um, not sticky and slippy so yeah um next thing is a philip kingsley bodybuilding shampoo this was gorgeous it was really nice i had a um a really good hair day one day and i think i'd used a scrub i'd used this and then had i done a mask or a conditioner is there something in here <gasps> Oh, here it is here the next product i'll show you and then um, literally it's just my hair felt amazing it literally just such easy easy steps not having to wait 20 minutes to put a mask on or anything just literally did this did that did the other and it was just like great results but yeah this shampoo felt really nice and then um, it left my hair really clean and manageable and i enjoyed it it's definitely something i would consider purchasing in the future um, this was a conditioner that I used with it, which was a um, moisture balancing conditioner. So I was just trying to get through some of these little products because if you've got like your full size shampoos in your bathroom, it's sometimes more difficult to get through the samples that we get in boxes. So I'm going to really be bringing back my turn and burn just so I can pull out these smaller products and get them used up and out of my collection. Um, just so not start there going off or just not doing anything so yeah really like that it was gorgeous got a few hair products here now and um, next thing i've had this a few times and i've had it from i picked them up i think from latest in beauty i might have also got one from feel unique i can't remember and it is the johansford expert color care intensive mask it's for all hair types it's got an anti-fade formula beautiful a really gorgeous mask nice results then you have to leave it on about 20 minutes Oh no, five minutes. That's why I like it. Five minutes. And that's why it's used up because I can do it when I'm in the shower. Um, I'm not great at leaving masks on for a long period of time. So if they've got sort of a quick application time, then I'm all for that. So yeah, you have to leave it on for five minutes, but you can leave it on for long if you want. It was really beautiful. Fragrance is nice. It rinsed out nicely. My hair didn't feel heavy, but it felt very, very nourished, soft and shiny after using that. So if that is on Latest in Beauty, then I'd recommend going to pick it up. Often these things come back a few times, like time and again. So yeah. Um, I used a by Shu Imura. What was it? A Silk Bloom Restorative Treatment. This was gorgeous for damaged hair. 
with argan oil. So nice. I, again, everything I've tried from Shomura has been beautiful. Um, enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> probably too much i think it's very pricey but again that was the sachet i picked up from feel unique so that's a good way again to try some really exp expensive brands to see if you like them if you are thinking about purchasing something and investing in some good hair care try out the samples see what you think there'd be nothing worse than spe spending maybe like 20 quid on a shampoo for it to come and it'd be awful you know or on a mask or something so at least this way try it out see what you think and go where you go from there Next is just a, we've got three little masks. Um, my lips last week, after I had like been moving all my furniture and that, it was so dry and they're still a bit cracked in the corner. And honestly, they felt awful. So I thought, pop on a lip mask. And that's exactly what I did. So it's a Project Lip Mask. Prep the Pout Hydrating, Smoothing and Collagen Infused Mask. Um, absolutely lovely. It certainly made my lips feel more hydrated and soft and just relieved, you know, because um, they were feeling so tight and, you know, you, they just start to feel around the edges that um, just really dry and I don't know, it's just almost like you need to lick your lips, but you know you shouldn't do that because it's going to make them drier. Um, but yeah, this just gave me instant relief. Um, didn't last very long, maybe till like the following day, but definitely immediately after, they felt very, very nice. So if you maybe wanted to use it, if your lips were a bit dry and chapped, maybe if you had a night out and you wanted your lipstick to look nice, you could maybe pop this on before you went out just to to rehydrate your lips a little bit. It is difficult getting hydration into lips just because I don't think they contain any, um, I, they don't secrete oil or anything into your lips, which is why they get so dry, I think. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> um, next was a Coenzyme Q10 mask from S Plus Miracle. Um, it's an LS Cosmetics. Here we go. I think I got this gifted in from Face Mask Club and it was okay. I think though, it was, this is the one that made my skin feel like, you know, sometimes you feel like you've got ants walking on your face and it gets a bit like, oh, really irritating and you want to take it off because it's itchy and you want to put your fingers underneath. I think this was a bit like that, but I had really nice results. You always get good results with sheet masks. There's still loads of serum left in the bottom. I don't decant it out. I know some people will, I have got so much serum, I do not I need adding to that. But it was really lovely. You could definitely square out the rest and maybe pop it over your shoulders, um, over your chest area, upper arms, you know, just like use up all of that serum. And then finally, um, and I used this yesterday. So then this is for the still low. You can, I mean, you can see all from there down is serum. Um, and it is a collagen mask, a skin recover sheet mask. And um, I'm going to guess that I was gifted this one as well. Um, I think it's a holica holica. Absolutely gorgeous. The other thing was with this one, there's always something, is it? The actual size of the mask, it only just fit under my jawline. Some are a little bit bigger. So it only just fits under the jawline here. But I seem to have quite an excess around the temples. So it'd be okay if you had like a short, wide face. <laughs> um, but it stayed in place. It was, um, it didn't make my skin crawl. It was very comfortable to wear and I left it on for a good half hour, I think. Um, yesterday afternoon, whilst I had my hair mask on, I had this on and um, it was just lovely. My skin felt very nice afterwards. I've just been feeling really tired and a bit blur. So I definitely want to be doing a few more sort of bits of skincare and like just self-care and just take a bit of time out to chill and unwind. So, that's everything. How many things have I got? Let's just have a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 two, twenty-three. I think twenty-three items. That's not too bad. And then sneakily, just before we started, but this can't count on my empties. I had a little mini Hershey's bar, <laughs> which was delicious definitely repurchased that one again it was like a white chocolate it was a cookies and cream but it was like a white chocolate and the cookies bit was definitely like the oreos it just tasted so oh it is oreos i was i've just realized i was just there thinking gosh that tastes just like oreos and i've looked at the picture on the front and i'm pretty sure that's a picture of an oreo and do hershey's make 
or ears. I don't know. Um, but now I feel really stupid now that I've said that. <laughs> oh, oh well. So those are my empties for sort of like October into November. Um, yeah, so I think I've done not too bad. There's a few there. I'm definitely getting back on the um on the sort of trail of using things up again, which is really, really good because for a while I just wasn't using anything at all. So I'm really pleased to have a box full of products to share with you so i'll keep these going i'll keep collecting some more products and um, i should get another empties in before christmas and then um yeah that'll be that so um <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed my empties video. I love watching these. I just like seeing what people use up and what their thoughts are on them as well. Some of people I watch are much more informative than I am. Mine's just always very, just like a personal opinion. Half the time I can't remember. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I kind of know if I liked it or if I didn't. I think that's good enough. But um, yeah, some people can go will go really in depth about the products, which is really good, especially if you want to learn more about each of the product. People I enjoy, um, empty. I'm going to give a little shout out, I think. I might start doing this. I think it's nice to um, spend a bit of love and like, um, hopefully I introduce you to some new channels. Some of you, these you'll already know anyway. And then um, a lot of people that watch me watch these people as well. But um, I think it's nice just to do a shout out anyway. And Empty's videos that I enjoy watching are um, by Emma Latham, Sussex Sandra, and there's a young girl called Sonia. I'm sure it's Sonia's her name. And I think her channel's called Pretty Obsessed. Is it? Oh, make a, oh my goodness, I can't remember what the name of her channel is. I'm going to do a little split screen here so you can see what she's like. And then um, she's great. And I really enjoy watching her videos. And then um, she does empties and she does project panning and she does some unboxings as well. So do go over and give her a, a watch and then um, maybe consider subscribing to her channel as well. If you go and watch any of her videos, please say that I have sent you and then... Um, and be, say hi and then yeah, I think it's always nice to discover new channels as well so yeah she, she's not got a very big channel but she's a really nice girl and then um, yeah she's um, she seems totally committed to her project planning I've enjoyed watching it I think she's had like a like a like an alphabet like an A to Z project planning and uh and, and things like that and using products so many times and things so yeah it's quite down the sort of line at how I started off at the beginning of the year then I slacked off but she stayed committed throughout the year so I, um, I take my hat off to her for that so yeah go over say hi and then um, I shall say goodbye so thank you so much for watching take care enjoy the rest of your Sunday or whatever day it is now that you're watching it it may not be Sunday anymore and then um, I'll see you all in my next video thanks for watching guys Mwah. bye